hey y'all welcome back to my youtube channel um if you're new here please consider to join the family and by subscribing i'll be glad to be here so on today's video i'm gonna be doing a Himal himalaya cucumber and almond peel off mask so i'm gonna be reviewing this for a month because we only use this two to three times a week so this is the first day of using this bear us so without further ado let me just go ahead and apply this yeah it does smells like um so i have waited and it's dry it's over 15 minutes i'm just gonna go ahead and clean it off so let me put my mirror somewhere here so that i'll So this is how my face is currently looking. So it's still like I didn't really open. So yeah guys, this is how my face is looking. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a uh, last day of using this Himalaya moisturizing cucumber and almond pillow off mask. Okay, so this is the last day. So I'll quickly to, um um wash my face okay this is a tone okay but then i don't use it as a toner but i use it as a micellar water uh because it has a witch hazel witch hazel it's very very strong um and also it has an alcohol as a second ingredient so this stuff is very strong and if you're someone who acne prone skin i would not suggest to use anything that has witch hazel in it because i feel like witch hazel it's it's an activator like it just makes whatever worse like if you're suffering from acne this might worsen the situation of your acne okay so if you use this i would not suggest to use it as a toner rather but use it as a micellar water because i mean you cannot use a witch, a witch hazel and let you know how toner works right you apply it and then you let sit on your face the entire day or entire night so you cannot do that with witch hazel so that's why i'm using this as a clean a micellar water normal to oily skin toner okay facial toner so now kind of wet my face look at that then i'm just gonna go with my grape I'm gonna go with my grapeseed oil cleanser from fundamental so guys i will just go ahead and rinse this on my face I normally double cleanse whenever i use oil cleanser but then because i will still have to cleanse my face after i use this so I'll just go and rinse this i don't feel safe with with face cloth especially that my face was going through that breakout i don't feel safe so do you all still remember this brush i said i'm gonna just use this brush to apply any mask so we're gonna just go and use this you know you know life brush i'm gonna show if you can see that you know life brush so we're gonna just go ahead and use this so i'm good at all at all but i only managed to wash this because i knew i was gonna use it on today on today's uh so this is Oh, look at that it has dry out 
hate this breakout, you guys. Like, I hate this breakout. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clear this off. I just decided that I'll just uh, take you guys in through this process. I'm sorry, guys, if you're hearing a noise, it's my thing. Literally, very hot, very, very hot, like, very, very, very hot. And also, if you see different lighting, it's because I went ahead and looked for a, a, a place that has a better lights lighting setup because I'm relying on natural lights okay I don't have um, ring lights or studio lighting setup it's so fucking that I misused okay guys I need to get my shit done because I mean okay so the reason why i'm using this oil it's because after peel off mask i feel like your face becomes so sensitive therefore you need something that is gonna be still gentle but also doing the thing okay uh yeah 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 i think i've said it all thank you so okay guys okay let me just go ahead and just massage this with my hands because like i said i need to make sure the residue is gone born gone. okay i do believe that if you're also a skin care junkie you definitely have a lot of product that you don't use them finish that you just let them be because you just want to review something else or you just craze upon something else if you also going through that please comment down below because i have a whole lot bunch of stuff that i haven't finished for example since i fell one of my toner <laughs> ever since i i repurchased this lactic acid let me tell you but one thing about chemical exfoliants guys let me just clarify that chemical exfoliants yes we tend to call them a toner but it's not a toner baby girl it's not a toner hence um one of the dermatologists said even if you do have a chemical exfoliant but you use a toner prior before you go with your chemical exfoliant that goes to show that your chemical exfoliant is not a toner okay so i've seen people confusing this a lot because you need that toner layer before you go with your chemical exfoliant because let me tell you chemical exfoliant is very strong guys eh it might not show you within three or four within i mean within first use but then don't take it for granted it's very strong it will strip your face and mind that spot okay don't do that don't do that okay guys i've went ahead and do the rest okay so now i need to just i'm not sure let me see okay i did the oil cleanse peel off mask so now i'm just gonna finish my rest of my skincare because i cannot start a day 